OK。啊、uh, ， we still we have a lot of time. Thank, I'm sorry. Uh, today I want to introduce you the CubeSat satellite. Everyone, every thousand people heard about this. What is CubeSat? I will show you this. Uh, it's a it's a cubic. It's based on cubic. So when you fly over the space, just that small. So you can you you can uh have your embedded system, including onboard computer and uh, ADCS. It's a altitude adjustment control system. Uh, I will show some our things the product like this. It's a onboard computer. Okay, you will mount in this uh cubic cubic structure. Also, we have a uh, ADCS because it can adjust the cube uh, cube size uh at, at, at attitude because when the uh cube cube size deployed on the outer space, it it will be out of control. So based on the uh you know the Earth has a magnetic field. So we will use the top. Uh, you you will see the x x axis and the z axis, and the in back in the back we will have has a air coil. So it will be the three axis, x y z axis, to to be the best to control the cubic set out of when it out of boundary, but uh follow the magnetic field. Finally, it will be stable. And follow the the field from the Earth. Okay. Uh, how to see this? How do you see this? Since the video is not work, but okay, uh, I will show you the EPS system. Our uh, QSET is uh, the name is uh, YUSET because I, well, I'm coming from uh, Taiwan. So the highest mountain is called Yusan. So we have the QSET is YUSET. Uh, the final day will be launched. Uh, will be the 2019. So we are now doing the, this uh, project. You can see the, the our EPS the power system for the power from solar cell, and uh, you are doing the energy harvesting. Also, you will see the OVC. OVC is uh, mean uh, on board computer, and the ADC is just mean altitude determination and the control system. So you, I uh, just introduce you. Uh, Depending on this uh, ADCS, you can control your attitude in the space. So this is uh, our uh, PCB layout and the circuit. So you will see the uh, X axis, D axis, and the, the background you will see the Y axis. So today the topics will be the three. Uh, because my topic is talking about SDRT uh, for the IoT, uh, Cubic communication. Uh, you know the we you know many kinds of uh, businesses are going uh, about the four G in the outer space, six fast in space. Everyone is doing like that. So why we are doing the four G L T on outer space? Because we all know four uh, G L T has a, a feature is a multi hub. So the constellation will be the core. In our nature. Okay, the first I want just want to introduce you uh, because not everyone knows about the uh, LT. So I will simplify it, uh, let you know what is LT. So you can see the 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G. The progress is about this. So everything is about packet IP. That's the best for 4G using. You can see the the progress uh, speed is about one G one G gigabytes, uh, one G one G gigabits. Sorry, so you will know 
the when, uh, in our system, the 4GRT, we will use the 4GRT advanced version for our uh, ground station and the uh, uh, cubic mounted in, on the cubic set. The data rate is about, you will see, uh, LT of R8. The bandwidth is about 20 megahertz. And the, the, the modulation is using the uh, 16 QAM and uh, 64 QAM. The evolution of UMTS, you will see, you will hear about what is, uh, uh, maybe what is talking about uh, 3GPP R10, R, R11, and R12, and R13. Uh, you will hear about that because uh, this year, uh, they, are, they have the uh, SIGFAST, LoRa, and the uh, NBLT. So NBLT is based on uh, the new, newest ones, R13. Uh, th uh, uh, so you will see. But my, uh, my cell life will using not, not that advanced. We were using the uh, release 9 or release 10 because uh, we want it stable and uh, the communication speed is, is our uh, uh, basic. So you will see uh, the LT world map is very, ah, uh, everyone is using that, but everyone is forget. Basically, it can be used on the uh, office space. So the uh, recent news, you will see uh, Nokia and the other companies doing the moon uh, communication based on 4G. You may be heard about that news. So that's why uh, we are using that. But Actually, we are doing that plan uh, years ago. And uh, you will uh, heard about uh, using the 700, 800 megahertz, and uh, you will heard about, hey, what is this band? What is this band? The band definition is here. So you can, you can uh, in Singapore, you may check your operator. What is your, sig what is your uplink signal? What is your downlink signal? And uh, Difference mode, what is this? It basically is based on FDD, uh, uh, frequency division. So 2G and 3G, 4G network architecture. We all know uh, in the 2G and 3G is a, uh, we, uh, we all know uh, packet switch and the uh, circuit switch. So in the 2G and the 3G, we all know, uh, if you want to call the voice call, you will based on the uh, circuit circuit switch, so it's uh, it's on circuit switch. So the the signal is different. But when you want to use the GPS, you will use the packet core. So in two G and three G, uh, this is auto is total different. But the four G, the structure will be simplified. Why? Because from the U E M, we will saw the this is enough. I will I will explain later. Uh, Ethernet, this press is always uh, digital and then uh, packet. E node B is an uh, involved node B. Uh, the capacity is high. The coverage is about uh, 2 km and uh, 10, even to uh, 10 km. The power is about uh, 50 watts. So the core is uh, 2G and 3G, as you can see, wow, so complex. So uh, why we, want, we are doing the advanced version for LT? Because we want to everything to be simplified. So you can see the EPC core and evolved packet core is being EPC. So the EPC is this. Uh, this is the EPC. So, you know the EPC, and later I will show you how to use SDR. So you have to do the basic information for this. So I have introduced this uh, EPC is involved packet core network and SGSN and uh, GGSN. That's, this these two words is for two G and three G. So EPC is a uh, OIP core network from three G PP release. You can see uh, this is ER an uh, EPC here. So the basic will be the inbound packet system.
So this is a all new network. Oh, you can see the survey gateway SGW, package data network PTN, and the mobile mobility management element and the PCI. So it's the basic for the EPC. Alright, next up this our uh, next topic. What is SDR and SDR can do? Oh, I want to introduce uh, this, is, this is our logo for our QSET. Uh, we designed this for our uh, Yusan QSET. <laughs> Sorry for, the, for my advancement. advancement. <laughs> SDR is a, not a new concept, it's a very old traditional. Everyone maybe played that before. And, and uh, you will know why it's uh, very powerful and then uh, you can use it to do anything you want even crack or even a new idea or even you want to do a, a LoRa based or SIGFAS based protocol you want, you have, if you want to do your protocol you can decide this is uh, SDR block we all know that uh, the, the core is a uh, uh, you know, you, you have to have an uh, FPGA based, and uh, you have a, a, a digital front end, you have a front IC to uh, receive and uh, the ADC and the DAC. So, based on this, you can use the software algorithm here. Here is uh, our core. You can use a uh, uh, GNU radio companion. To use the uh, basic widget or flow to be your basic. All right, what do you need? I just simplified because there are many kinds of uh, SDR in the in the world that you can buy it. But actually, I I, I use it always. I, I like this very much. Yeah, it's a hack up of one. It's a it's an open source. It's an open source hardware. So you can uh, customize with your version. It's very. If you have a hardware uh, experience, you can do yourself your version, right? Version, not version. Sorry. Uh, make your hardware for fun, for hacker. Okay. If you want to do this, contact me. Uh, and uh, we also doing something like uh, IoT device, make your own protocol, like SIGFAST. Uh, Aurora and BLT, just like I said. So, if you if re, you really a uh, 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 hard work for the hacker best, you can do new product, new protocol. Really, I'm I'm just mean it. You can do it. Just mean the French, the French, uh, the French making a new product. Just mean uh, we all know Sigfast, right? You, they control everything. Uh, Go a uh, safe fast station. If you want to do this kind of business, you have to co-work with them, and they will sell you the uh, safe fast chip. This is just trans trans transmitter, not 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 a center uh, receiver. It's a transmitter, so you just can send out signal just like that. But you have based on the safe fast station. All right, the core is J radio. Uh, you can see the the right side. They are always a widget. So you, if you do not know about the core, there's no no matter. You just ha uh, have to learn about it. How to use the logic, the algorithm. What's the meaning for the uh, SDR? So when you uh you have a Linux, you can deploy. You can compile it. You can if you have Mac, you can compile. If you have Windows, you can compile in your desktop, it's okay. So, everything is widgets, everything is froze. So you can combine your idea into your new idea. So that's very, uh, the flexibility is very, uh, uh, very good. So you can see uh, the variable, you, you have a very synchronous source, you can uh, add and uh, put Okay, you have come, you have input, you have output, just like this. So you can use the if you have learned uh, the basic math, you can, you just know that. The because the RF, you know radio frequency, it's a basic. It is based on the uh, basic carrier. 
so you can uh, make some noise on it, make some signal on it. So and uh, you will be very interesting. It's very interesting things. Okay, let's say hello. Using these models, you can put your file. This is hello world, and uh, I put the hello world in the uh, our file source. Okay, your file source can be anything. Test file, image file, anything you want. So put it on, and the, the output will be there. So you can uh, have a hackup one uh, in the net uh, one building, and the next uh, hackup in the next building is more than uh, if, if it is uh, far away, it's no matter. But you have to decide your basic uh, basic uh, frequency. Okay. Uh, this is the best for the uh, decoding the LT. That's the call one we want to use. Today. We want to use it on, on our cube set. That's uh, I just show you the call is then. But because we are we are we know we are doing that, so I just show you part of that. All right. Uh, if you do not want to know more about this, you just can use the. Uh, the, the company that, that's called uh, Eurocom. Eurocom has uh, uh, just finished some 4 uh spec. They have implemented everything you want uh, for the uh, 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 we just know three GPP uh, uh, release release eight. Oh, they just uh, implement the the whole set. So you can use the uh, OAI. The OAI is open air interface. So. You can uh, uh, you, you you just see all file through GPP EPC. I just told that before uh, in few minutes ago. So they have implemented the EPC uh, spec and uh, fully supported. And uh, uh, all UE and uh, EMB. I will I will uh, say UE is a uh, user equipment. U, uh, UE is uh, maybe your mobile phone, it's a uh, user equipment. Or oh, UE will be my uh, CubeSat, mount in a uh, CubeSat. So you can, you just know UE. And uh, uh, Enor B is a, uh, we just know, uh, it's a uh, evolved uh, node B. It's a station. Oh, it's a station. It's a small cell station. Because 4G LT is a small cell, small cell, small cell. So, uh, we all know that uh, EMB is here. Uh, it's an uh, EMB, okay? So you can do your soft EMB. So when you back home, uh, you download this, you can compile, and the, but you have buy HackIF first. Hack first. Oh, so finish your experiment. All right. Uh, I want to let introduce what is outer space and uh, how to how to involve this. Uh, it's a very uh, not very easy to entry, but if you want to go inside, you will feel very funny and have fun at least. Because you can do anything you want. You can do hardware, you can do your embedded system, you can do uh, life, everything you, you can. So I will uh, introduce this is Earth. Uh, this is orbit plane. And uh, we always uh, choose our our cube, our cellular to fly, and uh, how to choose your orbit. Okay, this is our equator. Okay, the equator is uh, the basic line. So this is the, you. You have to decide your your degree. All right. So the orbit plane is your design, the degree. All right. Sorry. Uh, our our cube our cube set you, you said will be uh, launched in uh, 2019. We have uh, AIS and APIs. AIS is uh, you know the vessel on the ocean. We will collect the AIS when we fly over the the region. We will collect and finally we will put the AIS signal into our cloud. Finally, and there will be the big data in the in the ocean. All right. Because AIS has some information, personal name, personal name, personal <laughs> GPS, and the direction. All right, almost.
Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry, not to cut it short. No problem. No problem.